What up everybody, I'm out here in the suburbs chilling, hanging out. Real quick, this video is gonna be a good one. It's me featuring Wesley. Uh, Wesley's a really dope photographer that used to be based in New York and is now based in Amsterdam. So I followed him around in his process and checked him out as he did a bunch of portraits with some cool models in the studio. Enjoy the video. My name is Wesley Verhoeven. I'm a photographer and curator based in Amsterdam and part in New York. Uh, long time New Yorker, fresh Amsterdammer. And you like hip hop? I do like hip hop. <laughs> how'd, you, how'd you know? I don't know. Well, for a personal shoot like this, where it's just kind of like building portfolio, working with people, testing models out, uh, I like to have as little preparation as possible. The, the only thing I do beforehand is like, you know, figure out what kind of film stock do I want to shoot, which kind of camera. Uh, make sure that I have a wide lens and a tight lens for each camera body and uh, that's pretty much it and then just kind of show up at the at the shoot show up at the studio get my stuff laid out have my notebook ready so I can write down the things that I'm doing um, that's pretty much it as far as like prep goes for these kinds of shoots and then for uh, you know and then there's of course styling and uh, that's something that I inform the model of beforehand All right, let's see. So I'm gonna wait a little longer than usual because this is older film. So let's cross our fingers that this actually comes out. All right. Good enough. This will still get darker in the, oh, it looks better in video. <laughs> so we'll make room for this. It, it'll still, yeah, it'll still get a little darker, but uh, that's the point. So your chin up. Yeah, there we go. So what I'm, what I love is joy, and yeah, it's a lot of light. Joy and like kind of almost arrogance, like attitude. So you can go for that. Beautiful. Hold that. And a little higher. Yeah, perfect, hold it. Perfect. For a shoot like this where, where it, it's just purely creative, I like to keep it simple. Uh, this particular studio, Studio 13, has these beautiful old kind of 90s lights that are uh, continuous light. And I love just kind of like having that in one place and sometimes moving it around a little bit if I, especially because my sh it's a very strong light and my shadow will sometimes get in the photo sometimes i like that sometimes i don't so then i just kind of like move it around but you know you saw I, we barely really moved it it's just one strength and i like I, my whole thing is focusing on the personality and that kind of like the soulfulness of the person everything else should come second to that for me so yeah you can have all kinds of different lights and three angles and make it all like perfect but that's not really what i'm doing today you know today we're like capturing a personality and that's you can keep it as simple that way. I do make sure that we have uh, the tighter lenses when I'm just photographing one person and then a wider lenses when I have the models interacting, which today was really fun. And I had already in the past a few times worked with Dave uh, and he is uh, a great dancer, right? So I already knew beforehand I'm gonna want them to interact and like have fun together with like movement and that gives me another type of shot too. Like more like fluid kind of places whereas if you're just modeling it's kind of like static and if they're, if they're moving around, they're dancing, it really adds like a whole nother layer to it. And I kind of like in my mind when they're doing that, I'm kind of trying to uh, kind of reinvent the fashion ad. But I love 90s fashion photography where the personality of the models were like front and center. I, just, I think that's so fun. And so I'm trying to kind of do that a little bit with, with this kind of stuff. And, and when they're dancing, you know, when anyone is dancing, you're less self-conscious because you're like in your body. And if you're just standing, looking straight at a camera, it, it's a little intimidating, right? So um, that's one way to kind of like get some other 
vibes going. And then I, you know, you saw me laying on the ground shooting up. I got on a little box shooting down. There's all kinds of little things you can do. But again, I like to keep it as simple as possible. It's just about feeling the moment and, uh, and kind of like rolling with that. Like for, for, for me and the models, for our energies to be connecting. All right, that's the last of that roll. One of the reasons that I love working with this uh, particular light that they have at the studio, which which is continuous, is that uh, I can see what's going on. Like it's not it's not a strobe where it's like you see the regular room and then it's strobe. Only in the photo you see like where the shadows fall. I love I love deep blacks. I love uh, moody vibes, even when it's fun, like to have still like visually a moody vibe in there. And so having one very powerful light is very helpful with that. And it makes, it also means the studio essentially becomes bigger because I can kind of drown the space in blackness. And then you kind of lose, in the photo, you lose uh, touch with how small or big the space is because it kind of looks endless. So that's a fun way to work in a smaller studio as well. Not that this is that small of a studio, but we were in like a corner that was a little bit smaller. And so it's, yeah, it's like, I love working with shadows to kind of cover up things and like focus in on the eyes, the face, the emotion. That's a, it's a framing device, really. Chin up a little bit. Yeah, hold it. One, two. Oh, that sounded weird. I don't know what happened there. All right, one more, the same thing. Yeah, just don't move. All right. Yeah, that came a bit. So let's do that again, but the other way around, where you're the shadow. Open your eyes, just you, you can close them. Yeah, hold that. Then hold this pose, hold this pose. Here, what they call this a free shoot, not that it doesn't cost money, but because it's like, you have the freedom to experiment and do things. So in this case, uh, again, because there isn't too much prep, too much thinking, you can kind of flow with the moment. And so I can be informed by the way that they move. For example, Dave, has a very, as he's very tall, very lanky, right? So he has uh, this body that he can use in all these different kind of sculptural ways. And so you'll, you saw that photo that I took on the, on the instant photo that's like where he's kind of like this, which is something that is unique to him. And so that, I was like, ooh, let's, let's, let's play with this. And then we had Nina kind of do a similar thing. And that's just uh, experimenting of, of form. Also, we shot some peel apart. So I experimented with the chemicals a little bit where I opened it up before it was done developing, put it back down and kind of like rubbed it. There's all kinds of fun stuff that you can do with that. And then on top of that, today I shot a lot of expired film. And so I guess that's uh, experimental in the sense that you kind of have to figure out what kind of uh, light it needs, how hungry that film is, because the older expired film is, the more dangerous dangerous it gets to shoot, meaning that you don't know exactly what's going to come out and you have to adjust uh, the way that you expose that film. It needs a lot more light the older it gets, which was fine because we had that powerful light. Yeah.
Yeah, no, do that again, do that again, do that again. All right. Yeah, hold it, hold it. Okay, so I've been Yeah, perfect, hold it, hold it. And, and keep holding it, keep holding it. Are you recording? Uh, <laughs> Who are you? I'm Nina. I'm from Estonia. Who are you? I'm Dave. I'm from here, from Amsterdam. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me where I can find you in your work. So, uh, at Nina Ratsip, it's with two eyes. N-I-I-N-A-R-A-T-S-E-P. Okay, cool. That's very <laughs> difficult. <laughs> well, my Instagram is Say Dave's. Thank you.